Just before we start this video, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all you RC kickers who've been watching the show over 2023. I all hope you have a fantastic 2024 and thanks for watching because if it wasn't for you, I'd just be an old fat guy sitting in a room talking to himself. Hold on a minute, that ain't right. No, that sounds about right. Happy 2024. Hi, welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're checking out this, the top of the range Armour Senton 4x4 brushless. So we're going to unbox it, take a look at it, then we're going to take it out into the forest. We're going to take it to a skate park. <laughs> then we're going to break it. <laughs> and then I'm going to order some parts to fix it. Now, if that interests you, stay tuned. So let's take a look at the Senton. Now, this is the top of the range version. This is the 1 10th Armour Senton 4x4 3S BLX SLT short course truck. Yes, it's a bit of a name. Now, there is a whole range of these, which we'll come on to shortly. Now, there's two versions, 3S BLX. You get the blue and black and the red and black that you see here. Now, in the UK, this is currently retailing for £359. It has a brushless 3660-3200kV, has a slipper, full bearings, as you would kind of expect on a truck of this price point. ESC is a 2S 3S BLX 100 waterproof ESC 6 volt BSC 100 amps. Metal gear diffs now they're saying 50 miles an hour for this on 3S. Spectrum SLR 300 receiver SLT 3 channel transmitter. Servo is a Metal Gear SPM 5651 that is a waterproof digital servo and 7 kg. That all pushes this up to do 50 mile an hour. Unfortunately, a lot of these kind of trucks, they do suffer from a lot of ballooning. So uh, air gets underneath, lifts up the car and it kind of like parachutes. Now, a lot of them actually do vents in the back, but on this one, there is none at all. Protection wise for the body, not a lot. There's no top skid bars, which is a shame. You'd think on the top of the range version that's going to shift. Having some more protection on the body would definitely be a bonus. Around the back, obviously you have a huge, great big bumper, but it doesn't actually protect you here or here. So when it rolls over, this is gonna get absolutely destroyed. Another thing that I found that I wasn't overly sold on was this kind of dipping going on here. So obviously it's gonna hit here, constantly flex, and you're gonna crack through here easy enough. So a little bit more protection on the body would have been nice for the top of the range one. I was just starting to pay $3.59. It's starting to get a little bit more expensive. But I love the look. Uh, personally, this whole kind of graphics, I really like it. It's vibrant and it's bright and it's all done really well. Now, there is other versions of this. You can get the bottom of the range one, which is the Armour Senton Boost, which is a two-wheel drive brushed 550 for 199 So you can get into these for £200, which is pretty good. Then there's one up from that, which is four wheel drive like this one, but it's still brushed with a 550 motor and it's a 12 turn and that's £269. Then you get this one. So they've offered a whole range from £200 right up to £359. Then you can go even further. There's a 1 8 and 1 7 from a Harvey. They get massive and obviously a lot more expensive, but really we're focusing on the sentence today. Tires, yep, yeah, all nice and soft. Oh man! Right, let's take the body off and have a look at what you get inside. So a full plastic chassis and quality. Yes, it does feel like uh, what you'd expect from Armour and more of the bigger brands. It does feel very strong. Suspension wise, nice big strong towers. Body mounts are 
little bit on the flimsy side, so I'm not sure how long they're gonna hold up, but we're gonna find out. The brushless motor comes with a heat sink and a fan, and it's all looking quite premium stuff. Now, obviously this is more their entry level range, but I am impressed with it. It would have been really nice to have a dirt cover come with it out the box as keeping the junk out of this is really, really difficult. They did add these kind of like side wings, but it's just not going to be enough to keep all the dirt and muck from flying up inside this. But obviously being waterproof, you can just rinse it all out later on just to get all the dirt and muck out of it. Now, really, you're going to be running this on 3S, being that it's 2 and 3S. Space for a battery is easy enough. You've got plenty of height. Now you can actually remove these plates. So if you wanted to get as big as possible, you've got a decent spec uh, battery tray. So you can easily put in really high batteries if you want to put a wrong, uh, a massive milliamp power in there. Obviously, if you then want to upgrade to go above 3S, the actual chassis looks like it would take the batteries quite easily. If you went to 4S, for instance, and you've got plenty of space as well. I think that pretty much covers everything. Right, so we're taking it to the woods, so we're going to give it a bit of a blast. There's lots of leaves around, so let's see how it copes with bogging down. <laughs> So there you go, after a good clean, we're all back to looking nice and respectable again. This loves that kind of terrain. Yeah, loads of woodland and forests and jumps and dirt. This is exactly what it's designed for. And even though I had a few tumbles, no real issues with the body at all yet, I can possibly see there being a slight issue at the back there, in this corner here and down there, that it'll start to go. Now they did put a little tiny bracket that sticks out so that when that bangs down, but you can see it kind of goes past it. So that's putting a lot of pressure there. I would definitely look at armoring this up a little bit more. You can do the old uh, rock wall underneath it with shoehoo glue, that might be a way to go if you're gonna go out and take it bashing a lot. But it actually scrubbed up really well and I was surprised there was no real damage around the front. The odd little scuff. Right, now we're gonna lean on it a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna take it to the skate park and see how it performs. So let's see how it goes.
So after all that, we actually blew a tire. Garrett, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And considering I bashed on it so hard, oh, what we came away with was very little damage. I don't think I've ever pushed an RC quite as hard as that. A blown tire. The only reason that I can see that it blew was one of two reasons. One, I gunned it a lot. It inflates, it expands, whatever you want to call it. And there is a known issue where it rubs on the actual arch and that cuts it and then it just destroys it. Not sure if that's what happened on here or whether it was just me gunning it in the wet, but there is well known that these tires do go pop. So what do I do with that replacements? Well, there's a few options that I've got. One, I'm just gonna get two replacement ones, see how they go. The next thing is maybe to upgrade all the rims and tires. Now to do that is a little bit more complicated on the Centum because the hex sizes are not kind of standard. They kind of beef them up, but the big kind of well-known ones is the 13 mil, I think it is, and the 17 mil, and these are 14. I could be wrong on that one. I'll put it below anyway. So the choices that you've got are bit limited if you don't change the hexes on this. Luckily, Arma um, already do it, that you can buy an adapter to change it to 13 mil, I think it is, so that you can run all the slash tires and all that kind of stuff, or you can actually go bigger as well to the 17s if you want. There is some Proline rims and a few other manufacturers where you actually take the center out and you can change it, but it looks like the cheapest way to do it is just to change the hexes over for a different size. We've got a lot more choice of what rims and tires we can put on it. But if it is down to it cutting, that's always gonna be a bit of an issue. So maybe we need to do the protection mod or trim them a little bit more around the arches. We'll see where we're going with this one. The other damage that I had was the front bumper. <laughs> From the footage you can see I totally miscalculated it, nosed it into the concrete and it broke the bumper. Now a replacement is not that expensive but is there a better bumper that I can get for this? Comment below, let me know, otherwise I'm just going to pick up a stock one, they're not that expensive. The body turned out to actually be really good. I thought it was going to get annihilated, considering it's got no protection, no internal structure to protect it or anything. Actually, it took it really well. Now the back section is where it took the most amount of damage and I have got some cracks like I kind of predicted. So if you're gonna take one of these bashing, it's definitely worth doing that mod to actually protect it, especially around the back section. But overall, I was really surprised. I'm also surprised that Armour doesn't do roof bars and some kind of rear protection for it because a few little things like that would make a big difference, especially in the rear. So, do we change this? That's the key, being that it's now a little bit knackered. And I must admit, I have seen one that I really like. Proline do this van, and it looks absolutely stonking. It's basically a Bronco, but it's made with the rear windows filled in. Really like it. Also, the kind of Audi-esque color scheme that Proline did, tempted to copy it. So I'm gonna try and get one of those as well, and I'm gonna do a few modifications to it. So it'll be back on the show soon with a few little upgrades, and then I'll paint up the body on the show, and then maybe we'll calm down a little bit, but we'll take it for a bit of a blast. But my honest review of this is I'm blown away. For that money, it's so strong. I bashed pretty hard on it and it came out really well. I am amazed I haven't sheared off body mounts and broke arms. Now you can up upgrade the arms, but so far, no problems at all. Now I had planned to raffle this off, but being that I've beaten on it a bit too much, I'm not in a position now where I feel it's a good idea to raffle this one off. But I was so impressed, I decided I would buy another. So I've picked up a brand new, new inbox, Senton. It's the two wheel drive version, so that I can do a quick comparison against my entry level slash. And I won't beat on it, we'll just take it for a gentle run. So I'm gonna raffle that off, so one of you can have one of these for just a few dollars 
dollars and pounds, depends where you are. Comes with free worldwide shipping, so basically to your door just for a couple of dollars. And then maybe when we've done this one up and I've made it to a high enough standard, maybe we'll raffle this off. Or maybe I'll keep it because I just really like it. Thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. A massive thanks to Watch SRC for sponsoring the RC Kick Show. And I'll see you in 2024. Bye.